how dental can take a smaller bite out of your budget pie. Cutting school district benefit expenses is more important than ever. Here's a sample school district's budget. Payroll expenses are 85%. That includes salaries, pension, payroll taxes, and health insurance premiums. Dental premiums are the next biggest expense. Set employee benefits can help you reduce all of your benefit expenses. But right now, let's compare two similar school districts, A and B, with 240 employees with the same benefit level that make different choices for providing dental coverage. Let's see how those decisions impact their finances. District A chooses a traditional insured dental plan. District B decides to self-fund its dental coverage with SET, which gets the better deal. First, let's see what happens when a teacher from each district gets dental work under her plan. Ava and Barb go to the dentist of their choice, and they both get a crown. Uh, not that kind. Ava's dentist sends the claim directly to the insurance company. Barb's dentist sends the claim to SET for payment. Both the insurance company and SET figure the amount owed and send an explanation of benefit statement to the employee and a check to the dentist. Each school district's plan has a deductible and a copayment, so Ava and Barb send their checks to the dentist to pay for what their plan did not cover. Ava, Barb, and their dentist had the same experience, but there's a big cost difference. District A pays a monthly premium and at year's end has spent $166,000 for dental insurance. But the insurance company paid just $121,000 in claims. Hmm, where do the rest go? Well, the insurance company slices off a big piece for its admin fee, and of course a commission usually goes to whoever sold the plan. Thank you. The remaining profit goes to the insurance company. District B's outcome is very different, and here's why. To start self-funding, District B deposited with SET an estimated two months of claim costs. SET used that money to pay District B's claims, which of course varied from month to month. Each month, SET billed District B for the cost of the previous month's claims and a monthly admin fee. At year's end, District B had paid about $121,000 in dental claims and a total admin fee of $9,200. Total cost? Just $130,200, a savings of almost $36,000. And District B took another opportunity to cut costs by adding a voluntary dental network to its self-funded plan. Being voluntary, employees choose whether to go to a dentist in or out of the network. Dentists in the network agreed to charge a lower fee for their services. That saved the district money and it reduced the employees' out-of-pocket costs. Adding a network means there's a network access fee to factor in, one that's typically more than offset by the lower cost of claims. Your school district has real choices in providing dental benefits. You can pay an insurance company or save a lot of money without sacrificing coverage or freedom of choice by self-funding. What could your school district do with an extra $36,000? Self-funding is a great solution for districts with 50 or more employees. Set employee benefits can help you determine whether it's the right answer for yours. Call your Set SEG account executive today at 800-292-5421.